what is up y'all thanks for tuning in left work early again so if you watched my last video everything was frozen that was two weeks ago about but it warmed up randomly like one day earlier this week it was like a warm rain so i think that rain may have melted the ponds i could be totally wrong it did feel warm enough that it would melt it but i don't know so it's later in the day i only left a couple hours early so i'm gonna go to the pond down the street from me and see if it's thawed out still haven't caught a fish all winter <laughs> going crazy i've always been like a winter person but now with a two and a half year old i'm going nuts like i cannot wait for spring i cannot wait for spring this has been the roughest winter of my life because before i had my son i'd spend all winter outside i'd still go fishing all winter not catch anything but as long as i'm outside i'm happy i don't care about catching the fish i just have to be outside but being stuck in the house all winter with a toddler has not been great <laughs> <sighs> it's on the way though it's february now so spring is on the way let's go see if this pond's thawed out and i would think the fish are hungry right they've been under some ice for a couple weeks when you think they'd be ready to eat it's still cold out it's 32 degrees so i don't know so i was right it's melted and it's freezing and i'm not dressed for this because i'm planning on coming fishing and I keep boots in my truck all the time. I always have boots in my truck, but cleaned my truck out, took everything out last week and put it on my front porch so I could vacuum my truck. So, I've got sweatpants on and hey dudes, this is what I'm wearing. Not really fishing attire, but I don't think it's that money. I think the ground's frozen actually, so. so. This pond is so shallow. I wish I had, I bought some weighted um, bobbers the other day. I wish I had those, but they're on my front porch. So I've got the same setup from the last video. I think this hook should be smaller. I think I should downsize this hook to something really small. Like, not much bigger than the crappy bite, but, I mean, it looks big because I'm holding it, but it's not a big hook. It's a trout magnet hook. Let me look at my bag. I might put a smaller hook on. Don't have my hooks. They're also on my front porch. So, this is what I'm working with. Alright, change of plan because I can't find my crappy bites, of course. My life is always in shambles. They're probably on my front porch, too, but I swear they were in here. So I either have trout magnets or I have these. So I'm gonna rip one of these in half. Here's one. I don't know. I don't know how to fish winter time. So this is what I'm throwing. <laughs> All right, so how should I hook this? Should I just wacky rig it? a little wacky rig power bait worm it might get snagged though all right i'll try this i don't know the bottom might just be i don't know i don't know let's go try it if it gets snagged i'll figure something else out summertime i'm usually fishing over there in the shade now winter i guess i should be over here in the sun where the sun could warm the water up I don't know. I'm going to throw this thing around. I don't know where the deep water is in this pond. I swear the whole thing's like two feet deep. So, yeah, just winging it like always. I'm not, 
I am not. I don't know how to use this tripod. I'm so bad at videos. It's not even funny. So I'm not feeling this split shot setup. I think that's more of a river thing. And I'm just not feeling it. So let me see what else I have. All right. I took. Oh my God. There's goose poop everywhere. Gross. So I took. I put a little white grub on here. I'm gonna cast here a couple times and then if I don't get anything, I'm gonna go back to the other pond where I caught like 10 crappy last spring in the same little spot. I wonder if that pond's thawed out. I don't know, I'm sure it is, but ice. I caught them, I'm pretty sure I caught them on a little grub like this. So this is probably too big for bluegill. If I caught a crappy, I'd be so happy. So I'm gonna toss this a couple times. I'm gonna go back to the other pond where I know there's more crappy. I've only caught one out of this pond. So they both have the same, both ponds have the same fish, but I don't know. I've caught more fish in the other one. So let's try the old classic white curly tail. I just had a bite. First bite since October. I don't even know if you can see me. There's a fish down here. It feels like a little bluegill. I ended my video by accident, but there's a, there's a fish down there. It's small, so it's probably too small to eat this hook, but I'm gonna try a couple times before I leave. Let's see if I can get him. He's right in front of that drain. I just had a bluegill. Oh, he got off. He was this big. That was the first fish I've hooked into in months. He got off. Oh, he was so small. I don't even care. Let's try again. I don't think you guys can see back here. There goes my phone in goose poop. I'm not good at these videos. I will get better one day. This is not easy. My first fish all winter. <laughs> I am so happy right now. <gasps> Look at him. Thank you so much. He is beautiful. Look at him. He's got purple in him. Winter 2021 into 2022. This is what I'm working with. <laughs> Look at this fish. All right, let me let him go. Thank you, sir, so much for eating in this cold weather. Oh my God, the water's freezing. All right, he hit that while I was moving it. So just from the ice melting, they might hit some moving stuff, so. I'm gonna, I kind of want to put like a beetle spin on or something, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to leave that on because he just ate it. So it worked.
That is so hysterical that I just caught that fish. I'm gonna cast for a couple more times and then go back to where I caught those crappy because it must be like a little deep spot right where I was because I caught a bunch of them. I think it was last spring when it was cold out too. So a couple more casts and then I'm gonna head back there. Ooh, look at this hair. All right, I got you all sitting right in my truck. Pretty sure on a white grub, so let's see if they're here again. A yellow perch? What did I just catch out of this pond? Why is there a yellow perch in here? Oh, look at that perch. The sun's messing the camera up. Oh, look at that belly. No way. Winter's made. Okay, let me get him back. He is beautiful. Let's let him go. I thought he was a crappie. All right. I don't know what you're doing in here, sir, but thank you for biting. Go. Well, that's why I love fishing. Yellow perch. I have not caught a yellow perch since I was a kid. And I caught him... We used to catch yellow perch in like brackish water. I'm so happy. That was awesome. And if you follow me on Instagram, I just said a couple weeks ago how I wanted to catch a yellow perch and just caught one. I don't know why he's in here, but I'm not complaining. Let's see if there's some more. Now, I, okay, I got a bluegill, a yellow perch. Now I need a crappie. I don't even care about a bass. Let me get a crappie. That was crazy. I know this is not the ideal spot to film because of the sun, but this is where I caught the fish before, so. I didn't end up getting any more bites this evening, but since this day, my mind was just wandering because I was so curious how that yellow perch got in there. But then I started thinking how crazy it is that fish are in isolated ponds at all. I know I'm overthinking. I'm a woman, so don't be surprised. But... I was curious how far this pond was from any big body of water, so I looked it up on Google Maps, and it's about five miles from a big body of water. So naturally, historically, this pond may have been connected to some type of body of water, but most likely it was birds. Birds carry fish eggs from place to place, and there are some drains. You can see a drain right there. I have no clue where those drains go, so any type of flooding can carry fish from place to place i don't know i'm sure all these fish got in here naturally some way now people do move fish place to place also especially if you're in maryland you know there's snakeheads here people move them snakeheads all over the place because they want them to breed in certain ponds so that they can fish for them but i highly doubt anybody's doing that with yellow perch so pretty cool to catch him just this is why i love nature and just love fishing because you don't know what's under there. You have no clue what's under that water until you catch something. I never would have guessed I was going to catch a yellow perch this day. And it just made my whole entire winter, honestly. So 
Now, this yellow perch has me thinking for next winter, I should maybe try to target them. They are in big lakes and reservoirs in Maryland, so I could probably hit the streams and the small rivers coming off of these big lakes and reservoirs because you really need a boat to get out to the deep water and the lakes, but all the streams coming off of the reservoirs should hold yellow perch also. So I'm gonna have to do some more exploring, see if I can maybe get into them next winter because they are cold water fish and they like to eat in the cold. Chain pickerel also. I heard a chain pickerel was caught in this pond about two years ago. I haven't seen any yet, but I think I'm gonna start hitting this pond up more just to see if there are some more different fish in here. But if you are in Maryland and you target yellow perch or you caught yellow perch in an isolated pond before, leave me a comment, hit me up on Instagram. Just let me know. I'm just so curious now of more about these fish and maybe I won't be as bored next winter and I can get out there and target these fish specifically, make some videos for you guys because it's just a different kind of fish. I've never really put too much thought into it until I caught this one. So if you got anything to say about yellow perch, let me know. And if not, thanks for watching, guys. I will check y'all in the next episode.